so-called red light Robin Hood was back in court today dealing with a series of new charges. Also today, CBS2 learned about a new challenge to the controversial cameras and the millions of dollars they generate. CBS2's Carolyn Gussoff with the new information. The cameras are illegal and unconstitutional, and we're going to win. Defiant Stephen Ruth vows to fight on in his red light Robin Hood crusade, even if it means he'll go to jail. And if I get sentenced to time in jail, so be it. It could come to that. A new indictment Friday, 17 counts of criminal mischief, each punishable by up to seven years. Ruth first admitted to CBS2 he cut the wires to more than 16 red light cameras, causing officials claim $85,000 in damage. You cut these wires? Yes, I did, in order to save lives. I will say that he believes very strongly in this issue, and I also believe that this country was built on a certain level of civil disobedience. But Robert McGrath of Mount Sinai is using a different tactic, fighting within the law, his name on a new class action suit against Suffolk County. Uh, the motivation is to do the right thing for the people of Suffolk County and... Um, show that this is unconstitutional. The lawsuit calls the $30 administrative fee tacked on to tickets unauthorized. His attorney claims he has evidence the cameras are rigged. Attorney Dave Ramundo claims his experts investigating a fatal red light crash found that engineers shorten yellow lights. They just manipulate it slightly to make sure that it's a little bit shorter to force red light running. And as a result, create revenue for the county. Suffolk officials claim they use the nationally accepted methodology in calculating yellow and red light clearance times. And under home rule authority, a local government may impose fees to defray the expense of the program. The criminal case against Ruth and now this class action suit could both go to trial. That would mean the fate of red light cameras here in Suffolk County could ultimately be determined by the drivers as jurors in Lake Grove, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. And the class action suit could also extend into Nassau County, which also imposes an administrative fee on red light camera tickets. A 